if I have any success in creating the kind of conditions that I described initially, then we may be able to see uh, some of these changes in this client, even though I know in advance that our contact is going to be very brief. Good morning. Hello, I'm Dr. Rogers. You must be Gloria. Yes, I am. Don't you have this chair? No, no. We have half an hour together, and I really don't know what we'll be able to make of it, but uh, I hope we can make something of it. I'd be glad to know whatever concerns you. Well, I'm right now I'm nervous, but mm -hmm. I feel more comfortable the way you're talking in a low voice, and I don't feel like you'll be so harsh on me. But, uh... I, I hear the tremor in your voice, so <laughs> you are uneasy. Uh... Well, the main thing I uh, want to talk to you about is uh, I'm just newly divorced. And uh, I had gone in therapy before, and I felt comfortable when I left. And all of a sudden now, the biggest change is adjusting to my single life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that bother me the most is especially men and having men to the house and how it affects the children. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the biggest thing I want, the thing that keeps coming to my mind I want to tell you about is I have a daughter, nine, who at one time I felt I had a lot of emotional problems. I wish I could stop shaking. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm real conscious of things affecting her. I don't want her to get upset. I don't want to shock her. I want so bad to, for her to accept me. Mm -hmm. And we're real open with each other, especially about sex. And the other day she saw a girl that was single but pregnant, and she asked me all about can girls get pregnant if they're single. And the conversation was fine, and I wasn't un at ease at all with her until she asked me if I'd ever made love to a man since I left her daddy. And I lied to her. And ever since that, it keeps coming up to my mind because I feel so guilty lying to her because mm -hmm. I never lie and I want her to trust me. Mm -hmm. And I want, I almost want an answer from you. I want you to tell me if it will affect her wrong if mm -hmm. I told her the truth or what. Mm -hmm. and, and it's this concern about her and the fact that you really aren't, that this open relationship that has existed between you now, you feel is kind of... Yes, I feel like I have to be on guard about that because I remember when I was a little girl, when I first found out my mother and father made love, it was dirty and terrible and I didn't, I didn't like her anymore for a while. And I don't want to lie to Pammy either and I don't know... And you sure wish I could give you the answer as to what you should tell her. I was afraid you were going to say that. Because what you really want is an answer. I want to especially know if it would affect her if I was completely honest and open with her or if it would affect her because I lied. I feel like it's bound to make a strain because I lied to her. Mm -hmm. so she'll suspect that or she will know something's not quite I right. I feel that inside she'll distrust me, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also I thought, well, gee, what about when she gets a little older and she finds herself in touchy situations? She probably wouldn't want to admit it to me because she thinks I'm so good and so mm -hmm. sweet. Mm -hmm. And yet I'm afraid she could think I'm really a, mm -hmm. a devil. Mm -hmm. And I want so bad for her to accept me. And I don't know how much a nine-year-old can take. And really both alternatives concern you, that she might think you're too good or better than you really are. Yes. And she might think that you're worse than you are. Not worse than I am. I don't know if she can accept me the way I am. I think I paint a picture that I'm all sweet and motherly, mm -hmm. and I'm a little ashamed of my shady side, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I see. It really cuts a little deeper. If she really knew you, would she, could she accept you? This is what I don't know, yes. I don't want her to turn away from me. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know how I feel about it, because there are times when I feel so guilty, like when I have a man over. I even try to make a special setup so that if I were ever alone with him, the children would never catch me and that sort of thing. Because mm -hmm. I'm real leery about it. Mm -hmm. And yet I also know I have these desires. So it's quite clear. It isn't only her problem or the relationship with her, it's in you as well. In my guilt, yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel guilty what, so what often. What can I accept myself as doing? And, yes, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And you realize that you, you set up sort of subterfuges so as to make sure that that you're not caught or something. You realize that you are acting from guilt, is it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't like the way... I would like to feel comfortable with whatever I do. If I choose not to tell Pammy the truth, to feel comfortable that she can mm -hmm. handle it, and mm -hmm. I don't. Mm -hmm. I want to be honest, mm -hmm. and yet I feel there are some areas that I don't even accept. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if 
you can't accept them in yourself, how could you possibly be comfortable in telling them to her? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yet, as you say, you do have these desires and you do have your feelings, but but you don't feel good about them. Right. And I, I, I have a feeling you're just going to sit there and let me stew on it, and I, I want more... Uh, I want you to help me get rid of my guilt feeling. If I can get rid of my guilt feeling about lying or going to bed with a single man, any of that, just so I can feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And I guess I'd like to say, no, I don't want to let you just stew in your feelings, but on the other hand, I, I also feel that this is the kind of very private thing that I couldn't possibly answer for you but I sure as anything will try to help you work toward your own answer. I don't know whether that makes any sense to you, but I mean it. Well, I appreciate you saying that. You sound like you mean it. But I don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. I don't begin mm -hmm. to know where to go. I mm -hmm. thought that I'd pretty well worked over most of my guilt, and now that this is coming up, I'm disappointed in myself. Mm -hmm. I really am. Mm -hmm. I, want, I like it when I feel that no matter what I do, even if it's against my own morals or my upbringing, that I can still feel good about me. And now I don't, like uh, there's a girl at work who sort of mothers me. And she just, she, I think she thinks I'm all sweet. And I sure don't want to show my more ornery devilish side with her. I want to be sweet. And it's so hard for me to, this all seems so new again. And mm -hmm. it's so disappointing. Yeah, I get the disappointment that here, a lot of these things you thought you'd worked through, and now the guilt's and a feeling that only a part of you is acceptable to anybody else. Yes. That keeps coming out. I guess I, I do catch the real deep puzzlement that you feel as to what the hell shall I do? What can I do? Yes, and you know what I can find, Doctor, is that everything I start to do that I s impulse, it seems natural to tell Pammy or, or to go out on a date or something, I'm comfortable until I think how I was affected as a child. And the minute that comes up, then I'm all haywire. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I want to be a good mother so bad, and I feel like I am a good mother. Mm -hmm. But then there's those little exceptions. Mm -hmm. Like, my guilt's with working. I want to work, and it's so fun having extra money. I like to work nights. The minute I think I'm not being real good to the children or giving them enough time, then I start feeling guilty again. Then that's when I'm, it's a, what do they call it? A double bind. That's just what it feels like. Mm -hmm. I want to do this, and it feels right, but after all, I'm not being a good mother, and I want to be both. Mm -hmm. I'm becoming more and more aware of what a perfectionist I am. That's what it seems like I want to be so perfect. Either I want to become perfect in my standards or not have that need anymore. Or I guess I hear it a little differently that uh, what you want is to seem perfect. That it means it's a great matter of great importance to you to be a good mother and you want to seem to be a good mother even if some of your actual feelings differ from that. Does that catch yeah, you Yeah, I don't not? feel like I'm saying that. No, oh, that isn't okay. what I feel, really. Okay. I want to approve of me always, but my actions won't let me. I want to prove of me. I, I think... I realize you... All right, but let me... Because I'd like to understand that. You sound as though your actions are kind of outside of you. You want to approve of you, but what you do somehow won't let you approve of yourself. Right. Like, I feel that I can approve of myself regarding, for example, my sex life. This mm -hmm. is the big thing. Mm -hmm. If I really fell in love with a man and I respected him and I adored him, I don't think I'd feel so guilty mm -hmm. going to bed with him. And I don't think I'd have to make up any excuses to the children because mm -hmm. they could see my natural caring for him. Mm -hmm. okay. But when I have the physical desire and I'll say, oh, well, why not? Mm -hmm. And I want to anyway. Then I feel guilty afterwards. I hate facing the kids. I don't like looking at myself. And I rarely enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And this is what I mean. If the circumstances would be different, I don't think I'd feel so guilty okay. because I'd feel right about it. Yeah, I, I guess I hear you saying, if, if what I was doing when I went to bed with a man was really genuine and full of love and respect and so on, yeah. I wouldn't feel guilty in relation to Pam. I wouldn't, uh, I, I really would be comfortable about the situation. That's how I feel, yes. And I know that sounds like I want a perfect situation, but that is how I feel. And in the meantime, I can't stop these desires. I've tried that also. I've tried saying, okay, I don't like myself when I do that, so I won't do it anymore. But then I resent the children. I think, why should they stop me from doing what I want? And it's really not that bad. But I guess I heard you saying, too, that it isn't only the children.